is this thing going to start or not? <laughs> For the love of Christ. So take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. When I hear the voices sing the book of love, or in this case the Bible will open up and let us see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another one of our programs. I'm Clarity Tarnation and this is the Clarity Tarnation Network and we're just so proud to have you here because we know what it is like to live in today's times. It's confusing. Things are not what they used to be and so many people come up to me on the street and they say Clarity. I'm confused. Times aren't what they used to be. And I say, I know that. Times aren't what they used to be, and you're confused. We all are. It's hard to tell nowadays what's right from left and left from right. But you know, I'll never forget the time that I went fishing with my daddy back down on Kentucky Lake. And we were sitting there in that boat. We weren't catching too much, but we were having a real good time if you know what I mean. And I, never can't, I can remember seeing a boat just a few yards away. A man kept catching the largest fish and catching another one and letting it go and catching another one and letting it go. But every time he caught a small fish, he said that he, he didn't say, he did it. Do you understand? He put the little fish in a bucket. He took all the little fish in but he let all the big ones go. And I couldn't help thinking, why is he doing that? So when I got back to the shore, I happened to see him. I went up to this gentleman and I said, what does that mean? Why did you only keep the small fish? And he turned to me and he smiled. He smiled a very gentlemanly smile. And he said, step away from my boat and I'll tell you. The reason why is because I only have a small frying pan at home. And I think that's true for a lot of us. We keep the small frying pan and turn away success. And at that very time, what I did, I turned to him and I said, Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you. And you know that from both Deuteronomy and Leviticus. They speak to us, don't they? They speak to us in a very personal way, in various different manners that you may or may not be willing to accept or recognize at this moment. But that's the theme of our program today. We're going to be speaking about fish, fins, foul, and foul plays, and how you can keep that out of your life. So stay with us. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again. 